into First Take. I'm Molly Karam, as always, with Skip Bayless to my left. And he says he doesn't need Stephen A. Mm -mm. Because David Robinson doesn't need Tim Duncan. Yeah, I'm good. I'm Isn't that, so that what you I'm always say? Yeah. I did good solo. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> I miss Stephen A. We miss you, yeah. Yeah. man. We are, we are I miss so Tim, too, so I'm going to be honest yeah. with you. Yeah. We're so grateful to have you here with us. All right, he's the number one overall pick in the 1987 draft, two-time NBA champion with the Spurs, the 1995 MVP and member of the Dream Team, the official welcome to the Admiral, the Hall of Famer, David Robinson, of course, here with us. And before we get into some NBA talk, we want to remind you guys that Super Bowl champions will be in the house in just a little bit. TJ Ward and Bradley Roby will join us at the bottom of the hour. Don't miss that. But want to talk a little hoops? Real, real quick sure. before we do that, yeah. I, I want to congratulate the great David Robinson on his son, Corey, a wide receiver at Notre Dame, just being elected student body president wow. at Notre go. Dame. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, now, I, I'm, I'm so proud son. of him. You know, I, well, I have three boys. So yeah. my oldest son actually just moved to New York's working. Love it. And then my middle one is senior at Notre Dame and just got elected student body president. He clearly got that from his mom's side of the family. <laughs> And uh, my youngest freshman over at Duke, so he's, uh, yeah, they, we, 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 he, we was gonna, he was going to, he was going to walk on, but they did give him a scholarship, they, 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 right? You know, Coach Way K, you know, I have a long history with Coach K, and um, and the way they have their team, they, they, there was a spot available. So and it, by the way, you pulled a couple strings for Corey because you got Duncan yeah. and Tony Parker <laughs> to do little promos for well, him. I got that call, yeah. you know, that uh, my son says, Dad, I'm that. running for president, yeah. so you yeah. could, you, could you get the guy? Uh, absolutely, but they love him. I mean, they've they known him, him since they he was a little boy. So it wasn't wasn't hard to convince them to do a little video for him. <laughs> Apple Way doesn't fall far from the tree. You have to be very proud of those accomplishments there. All right, let's talk a little hoops. Kobe Bryant's farewell tour continued last night with his final game in Cleveland. The Lakers lost the game, but finished with 17 points on 5 of 16 from the floor. David, what was your reaction to that game? Well, you know, I, I, just watching Kobe kind of finish up and go through, I, I love it. I mean, I, you know, I got a chance to retire the, kind of similarly. Mm -hmm. People, you know, honored me in just about every city I went. And, I, and so I love the fact that they're getting a chance to really appreciate him. And, and you know, I'm, I'm sure Kobe kind of loves that stage for that. So, um, so I, I'm enjoying watching it. Good for you. I mean, it's too I, bad I'm, their team is not. Yeah. I know. And I'm going to remind you, you went out on literally top. Yeah. You went all out after winning the NBA Finals over the Nets four games to two. You were still pretty good in that series. Maybe 10 points, eight rebounds a game. So still hey, cranking it out, right? It. Yeah. <laughs> it okay, great. so now you're going to have to help me with this because you're going to have to set me straight on this. I am getting a little tired of watching Kobe's retirement tour. Oh, and man. Okay, and here's why. My, my increasing negative feelings are coming from a very positive place because I have always been a big Kobe fan. Mm. I have always been in awe of his killer will on the basketball yeah, court. Absolutely. And, and as you, you probably know, I'm a big NBA fan. So my problem with the tour is it's starting to look increasingly night after night that the opposition is not playing all out against Kobe Bryant. <laughs> yeah. You think they're making it easy on him? Making it a little easy, taking it a little easy yeah. on him. And I, I can't condemn any of this because here we were in Cleveland, Ohio, in LeBron's house, and and most of the fans came, it seemed like, to see Kobe Bryant. They are chanting, Kobe, Kobe. <laughs> this is LeBron's house. Th this, is, this isn't even an arch rival of theirs or anything. It's just like, this is Kobe Bryant. He has transcended the sport of basketball. That's great. And because of that, I think it infiltrates the psyche of the home team to the point where they want him to do well. LeBron often was guarding Kobe, and I don't think LeBron was going all out. And I can't, I can't. Cleveland <laughs> Light. Okay. That's okay. hilarious. Okay. <laughs> now, now listen. Okay. Did, did the Cavaliers want to win the basketball game? Ob obviously and absolutely, and they did. They won it pretty easily, even without uh, uh, Kevin Love, who tweaked his shoulder, but he's going to be okay. They won by nine. They won pretty much going away. And Kobe got occasionally to give us little blast from the past glimpses of Kobe because they'll give him open shots. Now, I will remind you, he has the worst field goal percentage in the NBA right now because he's <laughs> he's pretty much becoming a shell of himself. So it reminded me, you know, the old Globe Trotter days. It was like the, the Washington Generals against one fading globe trotter but let's make this metal lark known as kobe bryant let's make him look the the best we can make him look so that's on the court then off the court this is really shaking me up kobe bryant has turned into david robinson
as the great ambassador. You're, you're as great an ambassador for the game of basketball as I have ever seen. But Kobe is turning into you. I don't know this guy. I only knew the basketball assassin. I, I only knew the guy who was always mad at the world. Now, from city to city, he is spreading love and imparting wisdom to the younger players. I didn't even know he had <laughs> it in him. You who knew? You don't like who knew? that change in okay, personality. Okay, but, but again, I'm losing the mystique of Kobe Bryant. Mm. I didn't want it to go like this because most people thought Peyton Manning was on his last rodeo, right? right? Well, I don't think Pittsburgh or New England or especially Carolina took it easy on Peyton Manning. I just don't think so. No. I think they went all out, right? Of course. And I think Peyton Manning, as much of a shell of himself as some people thought he was, I thought he played pretty well in all three games, and he made the throws he had to make to beat the Carolina Panthers in a Super Bowl. Absolutely. He was the winning quarterback of a Super Bowl team. Absolutely. That's pretty great. I, I got it. So, so again, is there any shame in, in his? To me, none. At, at 39, going on 40 years of right, old. Right. Okay, I, I'm fine with that. I'm getting not so fine with this because it's the integrity of the game. I don't want to see an exhibition game every time Kobe plays on the road. <laughs> now, am I, am I being fair about that? You, you I, know I, in your I heart. Think you might be overreacting just a little bit. Okay. I, you know, it's, I don't think anybody ever really goes easy on someone. I, I don't think there's anybody on that Cleveland team that said, you know, why don't we let Kobe score a couple buckets? Say, you know, that'll be fun tonight. Uh, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think okay. that ever It just looks ever to me happens. like... He's pretty much just a yeah, dribble, Kobe. dribble, three-point shooter now. That's about all he can do. There's no question he's enjoying this tour. Yep. And, you know, I, what is there to be intense about? What is there to, you know, there's no reason to have that snarl now because there's nothing on the line for those guys. And, and you know, hopefully, you know, he's taking that role as a real leader in that locker room, teaching these young guys. They've got a great core of young guys. Yep. So there's a lot that he can still accomplish without, you know, worrying about whether they win 60 games or not okay so I, you know I, I I just think he's doing what he can for that franchise right now and um, and you know he's I mean D'Angelo Russell has got a long way to go to become the guy they need him to be you know they they've Definitely. got I mean all their their young guys I love Jordan Clarkson so in San Antonio he family did. friends of ours oh. and great great kid they those guys have a ways to go they don't know how to win so you know, Kobe's got a role, and he's in, as long as he plays his role and does his thing, he's, he's earning his money for that franchise. Okay. Speaking of LeBron James, our ESPN all-time top 100 came out. You were ranked 20th, which is pretty great. Are you okay with 20? You, <laughs> Am I okay? Yeah? Are you? <laughs> Do I, does it matter to me? Well, does it, it does. Does, it, does, it, does it impact my day on a daily basis? Well, maybe. Uh, maybe. Uh, you know, my sons, you know, they said, Dad, you were 20th, which I thought was fun that they were like oh dad i can't believe you were in the top 20. really like, oh yeah. well did that did that miff you a little bit or no you oh. know i don't really care i mean it's it is nice that they see that dad actually did play basketball at one point so <laughs> that was fun but yeah I, I i love lists like that you know the i did a list for uh, my favorite top players this this morning for sports center and and you know i did all my spurs guys because you know my list is just as valid as theirs well, i have my true. biases i bring to the table too, so. And by the way, at, at 20, you're still ranked above Kevin Durant at 22 and Steph Curry at 23. So the old guys they still hanging in there, right? You know, yeah, I, I tend to be of the, the, of the mindset, you got to give the old guys their due, man. Those guys put in time. I mean, a guy like George Gervin, that guy, what he was able to do to set the stage for us to oh, have yeah. success in San Antonio. I mean, San Antonio, it's a small market. That, you know, he started the history of San Antonio. So now we have a really rich winning history and and it all started back there with artist gilmore and james silas and and you know i mean that was that those guys set the stage so i i would never underestimate any of the guys when you put some of those guys on lists i mean how do you qu quantify you know a guy like pete maravich the guy was he's, he's, he's he changed the you game know what? i agree with that he's 71st he's, on this uh, list he's, the guy changed the I, game i agree he was M unbelievable Molly isn't sure about <laughs> that's way before, before molly's time. time yeah well yeah. you think you you think you, en you think you enjoy steph curry right now yeah. hey think about steph curry you know 35 years ago mm -hmm. you know 40 years educate ago educate us well i mean that's that was he was steph curry before steph curry knew you know anybody knew about that so uh, unfortunately it, he was shooting 35 foot shots when there was no three no point three line point Line and the, what he did in three years in college is just mind-boggling and I mean it's it's how do you I mean Bill Russell averaged 
32 rebounds a game? Like, how, how do you even put that into context? He won like, a, nobody 11 does that championships today. in 13 years, Bill yeah, Russell. I, I mean, you know, so I, I love the fact that, you know, these guys have the resume set already. You know, LeBron, you know, even Tim to a certain extent, Tim has a ridiculous resume. But, you know, some of these guys are still there. I mean, how can you put S Steph Curry in the top 50? I mean, yet. I don't even understand you, you how mean, you yet. Yeah, like what? Uh, he's he's going to wind up in the top started. 50. I, I, I got mean, it. The guy is, okay, I, to that point, LeBron is third on the all-time list already. For me, that's too high too soon. Way too high. Okay? You, oh, good. You're with me on yeah, that. He, uh, way too high. I mean, yeah. yeah I mean, how many champions do you have? Two, two championships? And, and four losses. And, I mean, and, so and by the way, if you're San Antonio Spurs had been able to close that deal in game six at Miami. Remember the Ray Allen three from the corner mm. after LeBron that would have came apart losses. down the stretch? Yeah, that would be right. one in no, five. No, I mean, you know, he's, a, I mean, another transcendent player, and he, but he's still building his resume. Give the guy some time. You know, right now, how do you put him ahead of some of these guys? I mean, it's to me, it's, it's mind-boggling. These guys have, have, have changed the stage. They, they allow these young guys to be who they are today. So, okay. So, yeah, so I, I, I just give them a little more time to simmer. All right. Tim Duncan has simmered for yeah. 19 years, yeah, okay? Yeah. And, and he's resume, still simmering. And, 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 and he's still, he played again last night. He came back, and he actually had three blocks in 18 minutes. And I still say he's as good a rim protector as there is today yeah. in, in pro basketball. Yeah. Okay, so... His on this list, is he, he, he's yeah, eighth amazing. on this list. Is, is that? Could you put him above any? Could you put him above Larry Bird? I could. At I, six. Yeah, I would say he's he's yeah. in legend status. So he's already achieved any his resume. You could put up it's anybody on that list. So uh, yeah, he's a he's a different breed. He and Kobe are kind of they're they're they pretty much written down what they're going to write. So okay. Where, where you put them Although now Tim might could be win fair. another one this year, it's yeah, possible. Well that's, I mean, well, that's true, but is that going to change your opinion of? No. You know, I mean, by the way, Tim has five championships in part thanks to you for uh, some of it. But glad again, I could help out he, on he, has, those. he has five <laughs> championships to only one loss. I just talked about how that one loss occurred. Yeah. It was a little fluky to me, a little freaky. Yeah. But you know, if, if Ray Allen doesn't hit that corner three, yeah. Tim Duncan is six and zero oh yeah. in the NBA that mean, that finals. A, that would have been. That's Jordan esque, right? Yeah. Ridiculous. Okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Speaking of the Spurs, I got to talk about Golden State. Do you, how much of a shot do you give your San Antonio Spurs against Golden State in a potential Western Conference final? I, I love our team. I, I love the balance that we have. I love the fact that we got great size. We can shoot the ball. We can run up and down with you, and we can defend you like crazy. So, you know, we, we have couple new guys. I mean, David West has been a big piece of our puzzle this year, especially with Tim sitting out a few games. Mm -hmm. LaMarcus is a monster, but he's had to figure out, how do I fit into this offense, right? I can't post up and do what I did in, in Portland. So he's he's doing a Does phenomenal job. Does he fit? Job. Yeah, he fits. Some right. nights I wonder. Yeah, no, he's recently, if you've, if you've watched him in the last two weeks, he's been I have. So he's but just... That, but they have to fantastic. let him post, and yeah. they have to clear it and, and just let him go. To do that during okay. the game. There's a time, but yeah. you, you know, you got to let, you know, Patty Mills and Danny Green I agree. And Kawhi get off a little bit too. So that balance is a tough balance. And so it's it's gonna take eighty games, eighty-two games for them to figure that out. And and I think they're just getting better. So are you saying that. Golden State is not invincible? They look it right now? Yes, they do. But no, they are not invincible. Because uh because I, I, I think that when when you get into a playoff series, it's a different it's a different field. You're playing a team seven times. They figure out the things you like to do. You've got a smart coach like Pop. He's going to put all of those guys on that other team in an awkward situation. So, you know, yeah, they're good. But, you know, can, can Draymond win the game for them? Can Clay win the game for them four nights out of seven? I don't know. So I, I like our team. I like our experience. If we're healthy, I would put us, I, I would give us a great shot to win. Quick thought on Kawhi Leonard, emerging superstar. Emerging. I've had yeah, some, he's, he's yeah, I know, he's getting there. But I've had some questions because he's not built like a superstar mentally, emotionally, where he doesn't want to be that guy. It's not his nature to take over. And last night, they gave him the ball, cleared out at the end of the game at Orlando. I don't know if you got to see it, but, yeah. but I was just mesmerized because he came up big. He hit a clutch last second jump shot to yeah. beat Orlando, who's a very tough young team, yeah. especially yeah. at they home. Fight you. That's they true. will fight you, and they got athletic ability all over the floor. Yeah. And it was a huge night to me, as small as it might seem in the, the grand scheme of things. Yeah. Kawhi hit a clutch jumper to win a game. Yeah. He is 
he's he's almost there to superstardom to me. Uh, I, you know, I would disagree with you there. I mean, I think when he got that MVP a couple of years ago, he showed up, and and our team is built differently. We don't need a guy to be that guy every night. We just don't. And and Kawhi consistently, night in and night out, is a monster. He's a monster. I mean, he he can sh he shoots threes. I don't, know, I don't even know where he got that from. Like, to <laughs> I, mean, I mean, he Chip he's England, learned the shooting. He's coach, a clutch right? three three point shooter. He's he rebounds. He's an incredible defender. He is a superstar. I, you know, and I, and I maybe I have the advantage of being there in San Antonio and watching those games. Uh, and, and but night in and night out, I watch him, and I'm, I'm my jaws on the floor, and I'm thinking this kid is amazing. I mean, I've been there. I don't know how many years he's been there. A few years, but. I don't. I, he doesn't talk. He doesn't <laughs> you know, talk. He's, he's quiet. He's. Yep. But man, when he goes out on the floor, he does his job every night, and he's the he's the glue to our team. So you know, I would I would put him in that superstar category just because there's nobody in the league that I can think of. You you might be able to say like a Draymond Green maybe, mm -hmm. but but you know. I mean, Kawhi's a superstar. I mean, Kawhi's finals MVP, multiple champion, you know. What can you say? The guy's ridiculous. <sighs> okay, I'm going to switch gears and, and go way deeper with you. You have a great mind for this, deep heart on this. I want to go big picture. We've talked a lot on this show recently about the criticism of Cam Newton. Is it race-based or sort yeah. of racially motivated? You opened what's called the Carver School, San Antonio, mm -hmm. nonprofit private school named for the great George, George Washington, Washington Carver, Carver, who was an early pioneer in racial harmony in this country, mm -hmm. coming up from slavery. Yeah, great man. Um, your thoughts, just in general, about the Cam criticism, how you saw it from a distance, and then. Go wider, if you would, about race relations as you see them today in this country. Well, uh, you know, with Cam, I, I, I had to say during the game, I was rooting for Cam. I mean, I, I think he's been amazing. The guy has handled his um, position uh, very well, I think. You know, you, <laughs> the stuff that people criticize him for is ridiculous I mean it's it's really ridiculous I mean is he a little arrogant yeah maybe a little arrogant but the guy is incredible I and mean, he's he's got a great heart he loves to play has he powdered a little bit yeah maybe he's about a little bit mm -hmm. so what I mean you know has he used steroids has he has he cheated has he no. has he hit his girlfriend has he I mean nothing no. there's no reason for people to attack him the way they do so for me I'm watching him and I'm thinking okay this guy, I love this guy. I love the way he plays. I love his energy. I love, I don't think he's quite become the leader he needs to be for that team yet. And, you know, leadership goes, it's, it's everything. It's how you react in that, in that, um, you know, interview afterwards. Yep. So what, there's a guy sitting behind you talking about how they beat you. I mean, I was there when, when Houston Rockets beat us in, in 95 and, or not, yeah, 95. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm sitting in the locker room and listening to, you know, them celebrate and that, no, it's not a good feeling. Mm -hmm. I, I've been there where I didn't play my best and yeah. So we learned from that, but we still got to lead that team. We got to take that team to the next level. You see how the Spurs responded when Ray Allen hit that shot, right? They came back and they said, hey, that, that's leadership. So, yeah, he, he has to take some steps forward. But I, I think the criticism of, of him is, I think it is racially motivated. There's, you know, you see how people refer to him and they kind of, that guy is amazing. He's amazing. And he's a young guy. And yeah, just getting started. Yeah, got to grow up. Yeah, absolutely. There's no question. But man, I, you know, I love the way he's handled himself on the court, on the floor, field. He's he's improved every year. He's he's been a professional when it comes to doing his job, showing up day in and day out. He's not out drinking and partying and whatever else, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I think it's a little bit unfair. I, I, we should expect a lot from him because he's he's shown those flashes of brilliance. Okay. But uh, but. You know, let the criticism be fair. Yeah, you didn't play your best game. Yeah, you fumbled. Yeah, you didn't jump on the ground for that ball. I don't know what was going on in your head. I know if you had to do it over again, you'd probably jump you'd on that ball. I you agree. Know? So, I agree. So, but, you know, but, but you know, who, the guy's been amazing. How old is he? 26, <laughs> I believe. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, I don't, I, don't, I got a 23-year-old, so <laughs> I'd be pretty happy if my 23-year-old was acting, you know, yeah, as, as, as mature yeah. as Cam is handling what he's handling. Okay, last question's a tough one but you played with Monty Williams 
Yeah. Ooh. Lost his wife last night in a car accident in Oklahoma City, leaving five kids with Monty. Y your your thoughts? I he I know you share his faith, Christian. Yeah. Faith. Now you know. I, wow. Um, where do you even start? Uh, Monty is a phenomenal guy. Great family guy. Um, you know, like you said, big family, and 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 Ingrid was the the heart and soul of that family. So, to lose her, in this manner, uh, is is devastating. And um, if there's anybody who's equipped to to deal with this and to understand God's providence in it, I think it's Monty, yeah. and I think it's his family. And, and you know, my prayers are with them. Um, you know, I love him. Um, I love that family. Uh, wow. I just, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I've been with my wife now for 24 years and she's amazing. And, and I don't know what I would do yeah. without her. And, and my boys are already grown up and he's, he's got small children. So, so yeah, it's just, it's, it's the worst news you could, you could hope for. Mm. We appreciate your perspective Such on it. Such a tragedy. And our prayers are also with yes, the family. With the, with the entire family. Mm -hmm. David, thank you so much for being with us. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank <laughs> you for getting up early and making it fun for us. I'm Mike and Mike in here in First Take. My pleasure. Coming up next.